Hi, and welcome to HSE. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the firmware on the XAG LNT, or Local Network Terminal. These are the items that you'll need to do so. A fully charged power source for the LNT, the LNT itself, a USB drive with a USB-C adapter or a USB-C uh, flash drive, uh, your tablet or phone with the XAG1 app, and a computer to load the files. All right, I've gone ahead and plugged in my USB drive into my computer. You can see it here. You can see I have nothing in the drive. This is very important. I recommend formatting the drive by right-clicking on the drive itself, clicking Format, and making sure that you do have the FAT32 file system in place, and then click Start to Format. I've already formatted this one, so we'll go ahead and move on. And I have the uh, LNT firmware file here. This will be supplied uh, by us in the email that you receive. And here is the file. Now you can see this is a zip file, which means it has to be extracted into the folder that we're going to use on our USB drive. So the easiest way to do so is to click on the file itself. You can see it's image.des3. It's very important that you don't change the file name in this case. We'll click extract all. And what we can do is extract it right into our USB drive main directory. I'll go ahead and click select folder. Go ahead and click extract. You can see it's right in the main drive. In my case, it's drive F. Yours may be different. Click extract. And it will take a little bit of time here to uh, move all the files into the new drive. All right, now we can see the file is transferred over to our drive. And we just want to safely eject the drive before we remove it. You can just right click on the drive, click eject, and now it's safe to remove. All right, now on the LNT itself, we're going to pull this cover away. And you can see that hidden behind it is a USB-C port. That's what we're going to use to actually connect our flash drive. Let's go ahead and power it on. And we want to wait till um, it goes through its boot up sequence and that the lights are solid. Okay, so now we can see that our indicator lights are solid. You want um, the first two uh, indicator lights solid. And this third one is will only be solid if you're already actively connected to an internet connection. In this case, I'm not. But our, third, uh, sorry, our fourth light is solid as well. This is exactly what we want to see. I have my USB drive with my adapter set up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into my USB port down here. And we need to wait a few seconds here for that light to start flashing. That's the fourth indicator light, and the flashing indicates that it's successfully importing the firmware. This does take quite a bit of time. You want to leave it alone for at least 15 minutes. Um, make sure not to move the wire too much so it doesn't interrupt the firmware update. Been about 10 minutes you can see that the light here is still blinking that means it's still updating make sure not to turn off the power or unplug the usb cable uh, or the usb drive while this is flashing we'll see you in a moment once it stops all right we see that the light has stopped flashing that indicates that the firmware update is completed so we can go ahead and actually disconnect our usb flash drive And then we need to restart the LNT by pushing down, sorry guys, the power button. Hold it down. There we go. Wait for it to turn completely off, and then we'll turn it back on, and the update will be completed. So there it is, completely off. We'll hold the button down again, and we'll wait for it to boot up. All right, now that the firmware update on the LNT is completed, there's a couple more steps that we need to take. I have my tablet here connected to my LNT um, and uh, my XAG1 app open. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go into my device page down here, the me button, then my devices. And I'm going to go up here to the three dots, additional options, and click on LNT network configuration. We're going to select LNT. It's going to ask me to make sure that I'm connected to my LNT's Wi-Fi, which I already am. Go ahead and click Connected. And this is going to open up my uh, IoTLogin.com um, LNT 
server. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Click log in. And first, I just want to make sure that the firmware update was successful. So I'll go ahead and click on the three lines up here. Click on About Device. And you can see here it is version 1.0.0.31 which is the version that I updated to, so that's great. Oh, let's go back here. I also want to go ahead while I'm in here to connect to my uh, Wi-Fi options. So go ahead and go up here. Now, there is a bit of a difference if you're used to the previous versions of the LNT. This no longer has what's called a working mode. And to be able to connect to a Wi-Fi network, you have to go into the gear icon down here and change it from WLAN mode to WAN mode. Go ahead and click confirm. Click got it. It's going to reconnect in just a second. We'll have to put in our password again because it logged this out. Go ahead and click login. Now if I go back to my Wi-Fi networks at the bottom, you'll see I'll be able to log into my Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so I've gone ahead and connected to my Wi-Fi network and I know that I'm connected because all my four lights on my LNT are on and you can see that the third light, which is our internet connection cloud indicator light is solid, which is great. It's exactly what we want. The final step after updating the firmware, if you're updating from a version older than 1.0.0.31, you will have to add the LNT as a device to your, uh, to your account. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our device page, click the plus button at the top, and at the bottom there's actually an option to add LNT. When we do that, it's going to ask us to confirm that we are in fact connected to the LNT's Wi-Fi network, which we are in this case. Go ahead and click Next. And you'll see it's going to ask us to name our LNT, which I've already done. Go ahead and click Next. And that will actually add the LNT to your device list. So once it's added, we can go ahead and click View Device Details. And it takes just a moment for it to show up online, but if I click on it, you can see all of the data of the LNT. Now, this is a, an improvement over the previous version because we can actually see a lot more of what the LNT is actually doing. So how much storage is actually being used in the LNT, the, um, the name of the LNT, which Wi-Fi network it's actually connected to. Uh, there's even options to do system updates through the device page from this point forward. Um, and we can click on data sync and see the status of all of our data and if it's synced with our cloud accounts. For example, right now you can see my account info and operation data is currently syncing, but my firmware center is actively synced. I can see my system configuration data and see that that's syncing, and I can see that my logs are currently 7% synced. So this is a great improvement over the uh, previous firmware versions is that we can see all this information right here makes it a lot easier to use. That's it for updating the LNT firmware. If you have any questions, you can always uh, go to our support.hse-uav knowledge base page where you can open a ticket and send us uh, uh, any questions that you may have or just give us a call. Great, thanks.